Salam for love of Frishies, my name's Ebile Jaisipala Loata, and welcome to my world. Now, gear, not you guys, the cameraman. Thank you, let's... This is my world, not yours. I didn't really know what I was doing with my singing because um, when I was younger, I put myself in um, talent shows, like local talent shows, like at the mall. And then I went from there and then um, I started writing my own songs and like just recording it on my phone or an iPod that I had back in the, back in the days. I went from there and then I saw an um, ad on Instagram about The Voice. Oh my gosh, The Voice, thinking about that, it just feels like... <laughs> it was honestly like, what, what are we, 2023? Two years ago. It was probably one of my best experiences so far in my career, um, being on that stage, especially being a Kiwi um, and Samoan as well. Um, when I went over to Australia, I, went, I flew over by myself and I was 20 at the time. And seeing all the contestants come in with their families and their friends, and then there was me. Um, I had to leave my family behind here in New Zealand because I um, travelled during COVID. It was a little bit hard for me at the time because um, I had to watch my family on a screen instead of seeing them in real life. I was standing there for like a good five minutes and I can see my family on the screen like just looking at me like getting ready and as soon as I saw them on the screen I quickly had to turn and look at, to the audience because I know I would have lost it and just cried like a baby. I was born in Aranui. My mum would always take me and my, my older sister to the park. It was an amazing time growing up in Aranui. I love the hood. This is my beautiful mum and these are my two little sisters. And this is my beautiful niece. From now on, from now on, oh yeah. On social media, they're known as Humble Harmonies. Um, and they've been singing since I found out they could sing. I didn't know they could sing at the start. And we've sung like on, we've sung at the rugby games, national anthem for Crusaders. Just love being their older brother and tutor at the same time. It's easier. And it's cheaper because it's free. My little Titi sa sa hukay if I long almost guy from till twelve year old. Yeah, from that time till now, so far long ka if I long. She's lying, guys. Ole, my little man, I will make you. Yeah. I did White Sunday. Me and my older sister did White Sunday and we had no choice but to go. And I'm so glad that um, we had no choice because I wouldn't have been able to pick up that passion of singing. The stories behind the um, the tracks. Um, I wrote these all by myself. Like literally, one track I wrote three o'clock in the morning, couldn't sleep, wrote it. A few so, that's good. Is that good? Yeah, no, that's good. But it's um, a funny thing because once you listen to this, you're gonna be like, who the hell hurt this guy? Honestly. But let me tell you, no one did. No one did. It's a secret, guys. Don't tell anyone. I can't relate to these songs at all. So um, I kind of like just wrote these songs and of the experiences that I've heard from friends, family. I feel like everyone's been through like a heartbreak. I want them to know that everything doesn't have to be serious. Like, you know, have fun with it. And that's basically what the song, um, my EP is about, is about love. And then some of it's not, because that's probably, am I, wait, I think I said too much. but. That's probably the name of the EP, maybe, Love But Not, but we'll see if it's not, if it is. Anyways, yeah.